Hi, this is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with a quick video tip. The next time you're going to do an extrusion up to surface, try this. You'll notice that I've got the drag handle and before I hover my cursor over it, it's white. When I hover my cursor over it, it turns black. Well, if I hit the shift key, I now get it changing uh, from a white circle with a black dot in the middle. So now I could just take that and drag it over the reference that I want to go to, uh, to my height, and drop that on top of that reference. And you notice the reference is now turned cyan blue and it's giving me an indication that I've selected that reference as well as it's set the height of my feature. Okay, if I want to make a change to that height and take it somewhere else, I can just pick on that shift key again. You'll notice that it changes to a black box with a white dot, start grabbing, drag it over to where I want to have it, drop it on top of that reference, and again, now it's reset that reference to what the new height will be. Very quick, very simple to do. If you have a 3D mouse, you don't even have to take your hand off of that 3D mouse. You can just pick your shift button, drag it again over to the new uh, height reference that you want to have it at. And in this case here, that reference goes down into my part, so you're not going to see that extrusion, but you'll see the extrusion down into the part with the, with the orange highlight. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to hold down the shift key. You notice the change in my grab handle. I'm just going to drag it on top of uh, the top of this surface here to this uh, line element. And now we're going to accept that. And that was my quick video tip for the week. Thanks for watching. This is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions signing off.